Now I've cut two pieces of two by six. One we're gonna use for a plate to lay on the garage floor. The other one I'm gonna use for a temporary post. Now I measured from this plate on the floor to the underside of the header up here and I've measured on an angle. So now my post will go on an angle on the post to the header. When I drive this in, it will actually lift up the garage roof. All right, the temporary post should be supporting. Let's see. Yeah, both rails are up and we're ready to go to work. To get started, we want to remove all this trim work around the garage door post. Uh, looks like we've had some carpenter ants in there. See the damage that they've done right there? So we're definitely going to cut all that out. Oh, Carrie, you might want to take a look at this. Not only is the bottom of the post rotted, but the top is too. So what does that mean? Well, I think we'll just replace the whole post. Yeah, that's really rotted. Now what I want to do is I want to insert my reciprocating saw beside the jam and the post on each side to cut the nails and hopefully I'll be able to pull the post right out. All right, let's give it a pull. You ready? Yep. Go right inside there. You go inside and push it with your foot. There you go. All right, let me grab it. There we go. Now part of the reason that center post rotted, it was actually in a hole in the ground, just taking in all that water and moisture. Now if you clean this out, right down to the footing, while you're doing that, I'll mix up some concrete and we can fill the hole back up. Okay. Looks like we're down to the bottom. Okay. I've mixed up some quick setting concrete and we'll just fill the hole. Using a trowel, I'm gonna knock all the air bubbles out of it so it fills the void nice and solid. So we can fasten the post to the concrete. We're gonna use this galvanized carriage bolt with this post base. Insert it in the wet concrete and push it down so it's in the right position. I'm going to work that in nice so we have a nice solid connection. Make it flat. Now I'm going to put this cap on top of the carriage nut and that will keep the post off of the ground, keeping it dry. Now, as you can see, the bottom of the jams on each side of the post are rotted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut the lower section off and remove that rotted section. All right, here's our new post. It's a 4x6 pressure-treated post, so it's rot resistant. I'm going to start by laying a corner of it on the post base. Now, if you just want to balance it for me until I get up on the ladder, and I'm going to tap it in with my hammer. You ready? All right, now I got to come down. You want to tap the bottom in? Okay. Okay, good. Now I'm going to put a couple of screws in on a diagonal. To replace the bottom portion of your jam that is rotted, I've ripped down a 2x4 that's pressure treated. I've marked a line on the existing part of your jam that's staying. Now I'll just notch it out.
All right, with our post base nailed to our post, we're ready to start rebuilding the jam. First with a filler piece of two by four that I ripped down. I want to keep it even on the inside. And you want to just screw that in place, Carrie. All right, now the outside piece. We'll screw right there. Put it right in, there you go. With all our rotted structure replaced, we're ready to trim this post out. Now it was trimmed in wood, but we don't want to use wood, we want to use this material right here. And what's that? This is actually a solid PVC trim board that looks like wood. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to caulk this joint right up there. Okay, let's get the other side. All right, Carrie, you want to run a bead of caulking starting right at the top. Run a bead out. That's good. Nice and thick there. Okay. Now right down along the post, all the way down, a nice thick bead. Get that right up against the post and right up against the trim. That will stop any water from getting in behind there. <laughs> 